Today I'm banning every adult in The Sims 4. I have four sims to take care of with goals to complete, unlocking upgrades to assist me along the way. But if any of the children get taken away, it's all over. We start off our challenge in house number one, which is horrible. We're talking bare minimum, basic necessities. We have the twins Brayden and Serenity, our toddler Elias and one infant Cameron. As you can see, our goals are ready and waiting, so I'm going to start on getting a child straight A's in school. While I left the twins to get on with their homework, I noticed Elias was making a mess in the kitchen and for some reason Cameron was stuck outside crying. As for the parents, it seemed that they were adapting to prison life pretty well, which was surprising. But what am I going to do with this baby? We can't feed him, we can't pick him up. I don't want him to get taken away. While Cameron cried himself to sleep and Elias kept himself busy outside, I set the twins the task of feeding everyone ham and cheese sandwiches and I'm gonna hope that I can finesse the game and see how long we can go without Cameron getting a bottle. And with that, our first day has come to an end. Also I thought, looks like the monster under the bed has made an appearance. The twins are losing their minds because of it. I wonder if we can talk to it or scare it away. I'm gonna try. I guess not. Looks like it's back to homework while Elias and Cameron sleep the night away. Day 2 has arrived and the twins are starting to feel the effects of the adult ban. As for the adults stuck in their cells, not only did they look miserable, but it seemed like a hunger strike was brewing. On the plus side, some of the skills for the children were developing, but nothing substantial enough to give me a spin of the wheel. With upgrades like moving into the luxurious house number 3, money bonuses to help with the bills and ageing up any sim, I realised I needed to step my game up. Thankfully luck was on my side as Cameron's birthday arrived, aging him up to a toddler and taking a weight off my shoulders. With two toddlers now living in the house, I did some redecorating and got some toys so we can work on aging them up faster. Happy with their new additions, it was time for the twins to head to school. We finally have beds for both of the twins so I'm gonna let them sleep and see how the parents are doing. They still have their phones to keep them occupied but Tyrone looks like he's struggling. Don't worry, soon you'll be out. I mean, I hope you will. Whilst at school, the twins made friends and worked extra hard, and by the end of the day, their performance was only satisfactory. Wait a minute, what is going on here? Did the kids actually break into the prison? Day 3 arrived and social services were threatening to take away Elias. As Serenity maintained the house, Elias was one more step closer to being aged up. Meanwhile, the monster under the bed made a return once again, messing up the kid's routine. And after more failed attempts to get rid of it, I gave up and left the kids to eat food, play and rest before Winterfest festivities began. With Cameron and Elias making progress on their skills, getting us closer to our first wheel spin, it was time to celebrate Winterfest with carols and presents opening. Sadly, three of the kids got lumps of coal as their presents and Elias was the only person who got a new toy set. Once again, after the excitement had cleared, the monster under the bed came back. So you know the drill, it's homework time. There's no way this woman has died from starvation. Wait, did I forget to feed them when I fed the kids? Oh my gosh. Death, don't take the... Death is really gonna take her. Well, what a way to end day three. One of the parents has died, and on Christmas too. And to add insult to injury, death is stealing presents. Nice. It's day four of the challenge, and this household is depressed. Everyone is mourning the loss of Magdalena, and social services are still on my case. Despite all this, we still need to get the twins to school and try and get a wheel spin for an upgrade. Look at the state of the kids, they stink, they have yet to bathe, and now what's this? Brayden is going through a phase? No, nope, not in this household, you better be on your best behaviour. Finally, Elias has reached level 3 in all his skills, so we get to do a wheel spin. Please be something good. And our first upgrade is going to be... Move into house number 2, yes! Come on kids, we're moving out. I'm so happy I got this upgrade first. Whilst the kids moved into the upgraded house, I checked in on Tyrone to see that he was sleeping away his pain. As the kids settled into the house for the night, despite their sadness, things were looking positive. But wait, is that Father Winter? I guess he got stuck in the house on Winterfest. Oops. 
Day five arrives and we have only achieved one of our goals so far. As long as social services leave me alone, I think I'll do just fine in this challenge. The kids are doing just fine living life adult free, but this monster under the bed situation and Brayden acting out is making me miss the parents. Speaking of which, it's looking quite cold out there Tyrone. With the presence of a dust bunny, there's a chance to make some money here for the children. And with Tyrone continuing to give fatherly advice from inside his cell, I could see it was starting to take its toll on him. Meanwhile, the toddlers were living their best life and the twins were making no progress towards unlocking another upgrade for me. Throughout this whole challenge, Serenity has been holding down the house, but with her grades not improving, I think it's time for an after school activity. Having joined the scouts, Brayden and Serenity invited their school friends over to have some fun. However, things took a turn for the worse when the monster under the bed made an appearance again, resulting in the friends running away. Things continued to get worse as Serenity developed a picky eater habit and things in the household were tense and emotional. It's day 7 and we've been hard at work working on Cameron's skills to age him up. It's also Elias' birthday, so you know what that means, I get to spin the wheel soon. The state of Tyrone's cell is worsening by the day, but I'm determined to finish these goals before social services head my way. It's time to age up Elias. We're not having a party because we've only got 152 simoleons, so let's see what traits he's going to have. And Elias has the dog lover trait, and for his aspiration, he's going to be a social butterfly. Yeah. You're in need of a makeover. But we completed a goal, so it's time to spin the wheel and get another upgrade. And our next wheel spin upgrade is going to be age up any sim. So Cameron, it's your turn. And he gets the loves outdoors trait and motor aspiration. And he also needs a makeover. Meanwhile, Tyrone is sound asleep, missing out on the kids' key milestones in life. With half our goals completed, I noticed the twins were miserable and also sick. So with that, I sent everyone off to bed with the house a complete and utter mess. Day 8 arrived and Tyrone was really going through it. Look at all these negative moodlets. But it was a new day and time for school, except for Cameron, who got started on his homework. Oh no, the bills are here. I'm seeing a lot of red and not enough money and I have no idea what we're going to do about this. When the kids returned from school, they brought home with them projects so I wasted no time in getting them started. I really want them to get those A grades and I know that they can do it. I think it's time we check on Tyrone, you know. Wait, what's going on here? So, are you trying to tell me that I went through all of this, completed half of the goals, just for this man to drop down dead? I'm literally almost finished. How did he even die? Death couldn't even wait for him to drop on the ground. He's already in the cell. Mortimer, I don't know what you're doing here, but the kids need to not see this right now. It's bad enough that their mum already passed. Never mind, it looks like they're going over anyway. Do you know what kids? I'm sorry. I did my best. I tried to see if you guys could survive on your own with adults being banned and on this occasion it was not possible. This challenge was really hard and I did it with no mods so I'm not surprised that I lost. Congrats Death, you won again. Ooh.